Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about importing mesh files into ANSYS Fluent meshing watertight geometry workflow. Our focus will be on using the import geometry task, which allows users to read both surface and volume meshes, as well as the Fluent case files. There may be scenarios where you may want to bring in good quality surface meshes that capture both the curvature and proximity. Or you want to improve the mesh quality but do not have access to the underlying CAD geometry. In such scenarios, you can use the mesh import feature of Fluent Meshing. This import is not limited to files that were created in Fluent. Surface and volume meshes created using third-party meshing tools can also be imported if the file formats are supported by Fluent Meshing. Refer to the Fluent User's Guide to find out more about all the supported mesh formats. Like the CAD import, the imported mesh surfaces must also form one or more watertight volumes. Let us look at the mesh import process in ANSYS Fluent Meshing using the watertight workflow. Let us start Fluent in the meshing mode. Click on the Select Workflow Type dropdown and select Watertight Geometry. Select the Import Geometry task by clicking on it and use the File Format dropdown to pick the mesh option to enable mesh import. A new field called File Units is added right below the file format option. To successfully import meshes into the watertight workflow, it is necessary to specify the units in which it was created. Otherwise, the mesh will get scaled incorrectly. For this demonstration, we will change the units to millimeters since the original mesh file being imported was created in millimeters. Let us use the three dots to select the name of the file we would like to import. These are the supported file formats for mesh import in Fluent Mesh. In this example, we will read manifold underscore ch dot msh dot h5, which is a polyhex core volume mesh. Whether we import surface or volume meshes into the watertight workflow, it is important to keep in mind that only the surface mesh information is preserved during the import. The interior cell information of the volume mesh is discarded. Also, any non-triangular surface mesh elements such as quadrilaterals and polygons are converted to triangles during the import. Information about this conversion of poly surface mesh elements to triangles is printed to the Fluent Meshing console as shown. Let us click on Revert and Edit and expand the advanced options. Unlike the CAD import, we see a single option to separate zones by either a region or a combination of both region and separation angle. No additional custom faceting is permissible during the mesh import. Let us compare the results from both CAD and mesh import types using the same exhaust manifold example. The result of CAD import type is shown on the left side and that from the mesh import is displayed on the right. We notice that the imported mesh file contains the mesh facets which are remnants of the original mesh it is not possible to improve the surface capture of the imported mesh file. The CAD import type is generally preferred over the mesh import. This, of course, depends on the availability of a good clean CAD geometry file. Let us now import the Fluent case file as a mesh in the watertight workflow. We will select the following file. An information dialog box opens to warn us that the boundary condition information is lost during the import. Similar to the volume mesh file, 
all information about the interior cells is lost during the import. Our learning is incomplete if we do not address how to successfully read meshes that were created using the watertight workflow. For such meshes, it is not recommended to use the import geometry task. To retain the watertight workflow details as well as the final volume mesh information, read the mesh file directly from the file menu as shown. We see that all the tasks in the workflow are preserved and have a green check mark highlighting a completed workflow. It allows the flexibility to edit any task by simply selecting the task and clicking on either edit or revert and edit. Before wrapping up, let's summarize our key takeaways. The import task allows users to read surface or volume meshes as well as fluent case files. During the mesh import, only the surface mesh information is preserved and the volume mesh information is discarded. The boundary condition information is also lost when fluent case files are imported as a mesh. For meshes created using the watertight workflow in ANSYS Fluent, the import task should not be used if users are looking to retain both the workflow and the volume mesh information. This brings us to the end of our video.